Alright, this all seems to the light to share the Marilyn series of x over e to the power x minus 1. If let's say we feel that differentiation with quotient rule is not an easy task, especially we have complicated function. Why not we think of some special trick? For example, like this case, we can actually make use of some special trick, some math hat to obtain the Marilyn series for this function. So we just have to let fx be the more complicated part, the denominator, e to the power of x minus 1. Then at the point x equal to 0, we have e to the power of 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So as we can see, we just have to differentiate this function, which is relatively easier. So we have differentiate ex is ex itself, differentiate minus 1 is 0. So which means that at point x equal to 0, we have 1. We differentiate again, so we have ex, and at the point 0, we have 1 again. So which means that regardless which order of derivative we have, we will definitely obtain ex. And the associated value at point x equal to 0, we will always obtain 1. So which means that the Marilyn series for the function ex minus 1 is equal to First derivative, so we over 1 factorial x to the power 1 plus second derivative, so 2 factorial x squared, third derivative, 3 factorial x cubed, fourth derivative, 4 factorial x to the power 4, fifth derivative, 5 factorial x to the power 5, and so on. So it depends on how many terms we need. So from here, we have is always equal to 1, so the numerator always equal to 1. Then we have x plus 1 over 2x squared plus 1 over 6x cubed plus 1 over 4 factorial. 4 factorial is 24. If let's say we're not sure, then we just have to press calculator. So we obtain 24, 1 over 24x to the power 4 plus how about 5 factorial? 5 factorial is equal to 120. So we have 120 x to the power 5 and so on. Then what we have to do next is just apply long division. So we have x plus 1 over 2 x squared plus 1 over 6 x cubed plus 1 over 24 x power 4 plus 1 over 120 x to the power 5 the whole thing divides x. So the rule of thumb of applying long division is always reduce the first term to 0. In order for us to obtain 0, which means that we have to take x minus x. In order for us to have x here, which means that we have 1. So 1 times x is equal to x. So x minus x, we obtain 0. And don't forget to times the remaining terms. So we have plus 1 over 2x squared plus 1 over 6x cubed plus 1 over 24x power 4 plus 1 over 120x power 5 and so on. So we have 0 minus. So minus positive is negative. 1 over 2x squared minus 1 over 6x cubed minus 1 over 24x power 4 minus 1 over 120x power 5 and so on. So again, the rule of time is to obtain 0 for the first term. In order to have 0, we must have negative 1 over 2x squared. So which means that we have to times negative 1 over 2. So negative 1 over 2 times 1 is negative 1 over 2. Then x times x, we obtain x squared. So negative 1 over 2 x squared minus negative. So minus negative become plus. So minus plus offset each other, we obtain 0. Then negative positive negative. 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, 1 over 4 x cubed. 1 over 2, 1 over 6, 1 over 12, x power 4, 1 over 2, 1 over 24, 1 over 48, x power 5. So let's simplify. Remember, always apply minus when we simplify. So which means that negative 1 over 6, we minus negative 1 over 4. 
in short we can use plus to replace minus negative and we obtain 1 over 12 which is positive and we have negative 1 over 24 minus negative 1 over 12 and we obtain 1 over 24 positive the last one negative 1 over 120 minus negative 1 over 48 so we have 1 over 80 x power 5 so we should have plus 1 over 12 x to the power 2 in order for us to offset and obtain 0 so 1 over 12 times 1 over 2 1 over 24 x to the power 4 1 over 12 times 1 over 6 1 over 72 x to the power of 5 so unfortunately as we can see we will obtain two terms 0 and we just have value for the first the last term here 1 over 80 minus 1 over 72 so we obtain negative 1 over 720 x to the power 5 so here we don't have x to the power 3 since this is 0 so what we need here is negative 1 over 720 x to the power 4 so 4 power 4 times power 1 we obtain power 5 So if let's say the question asks for only four terms, so we can stop here. If let's say the question asks for more terms, then we have to expand more for this function e to the power of x minus one. Depends on what the question wants. So which means that the function, the Merrill series for the function x over e to the power of x minus one is equal one minus one over two x plus 1 over 12 x squared minus 1 over 720 x to the power 4 and so on. As we can see, by using this special trick, we can obtain the Merrill-Lane series faster as compared to the usual method where we have to apply quotient rule. Okay. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.